tell you, it is always great to hear his voice. And uh, he's with us for the next hour and 15 minutes. An extended, in-depth interview with former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura, movie star, wrestler, uh, mayor, best-selling author. You know, I bought 3,000 of his book. We've already sold 1,000 of them. Uh, and, and I got a call from the salesman from Skyhorse. They said, you better order some now because we just sold out. They've sold out. Now, there's some in stores, but those are selling out quick. They're rushing to print more. We've got them at Infowars.com. And let me tell you, this is a scary book because I've done the research. It's all accurate, and I've never seen somebody of Ventura's caliber go this far. We had Dick Russell on two days ago. Part of the book's being censored by the Huffington Post. We'll talk about that. Fourth on Amazon in the top ten of all the other nonfiction charts. This is very, very exciting. It shows the hunger people have for alternative information. So for the next hour and 15 minutes, Jesse Ventura back in the States. Good to have you with us. Great to be here, Alex. Man, there is so much going on. Uh, before I ask a bunch of questions, what is tippity-top on the mind of uh, Jesse Ventura? Well, nothing really. You know, it, it was kind of a culture shock for me because when I lived down in Mexico, you know, I could walk some days three miles on the beach and never see another human, and I'd jump on a plane and land right in the heart of Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a culture shock. Oh, I will tell you one fun story, Alex, before we get to the serious stuff. I didn't watch television from December 31st till this Sunday, and I did that on purpose just to flush my brain out a little. But uh, I was playing golf, and I, it was about 2 in the afternoon, and the, the ranger came up to me and he said, Governor, did you hear what happened? I said, no, what happened? He said an 8.5 Richter uh, earthquake hit Chile and that there's a tsunami heading here and it's going to hit here at 540. I said, really? I said, I'm done. I hurried to my car, left my cart, threw my clubs in. I drove my hour and a half home down the dirt roads over the hill, rushed home where my wife, Terry, and my dog were with this tsunami coming, got in the house, grabbed my surfboard, headed to the beach, <laughs> stood out there and waited, Alex, and nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, for those that don't know, surfers love to go to the tsunamis. Everybody else is running the other way. You're running towards it. Well, hey, it's uh, when in a lifetime do you get a chance to surf a tsunami? <laughs> Jesse Ventura. Uh, well, maybe someday you'll get to surf a tsunami. <laughs> well, just as long as it's not too big. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was watching videos online of surfers surfing tsunamis. I mean, some of those things 100 feet tall. Well, you know, Laird Hamilton is the greatest big wave surfer in the world. And I read his book, and I'll tell you one thing that's interesting. Laird said that when he ever does these TV shows and radio, they always introduce him as fearless. And Laird said, that's the equivalent of calling me an idiot. He <laughs> said, every big wave I ride, I experience fear. But he said, I'm, I'm a person who can take that fear and channel it into performance. And there are people that are capable of doing that. But I found it interesting when he said that, that uh, calling me fearless is like calling me an idiot. Absolutely. It's fear that keeps us on our toes. Exactly. We're going to go to break, Governor. Uh, sure. But again, I'm, I, I am so excited that this book is number four, and I'm sure it's going to hit number one uh, by next week on Amazon and everywhere else. I want to encourage listeners to buy it at Infowars.com. We're discounting it. It's hardcover, twenty four ninety five in bookstores, nineteen ninety five at Infowars dot com, and we also give you a free film, Loose Change Final Cut or Reflections and Warnings. Two films, one I produced, uh, one I directed. You can get one of these videos free with the book. You can't beat that deal. Infowars dot com or eight 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 two five three three one three nine. Jesse, the Mind Ventura. Uh, I'm going to ask you when we get back, is he worried about the globalists coming after him? Is he worried? Because I was talking to his co-author, Dick Russell, about all the people he interviewed for the JFK assassination that got murdered. Jesse Ventura. We'll be right back. Man, let me tell you, Ventura is so recharged. Being with him in person, I never met anybody that has as much energy. It's not a put on; it's just a just a dynamism. But he was still overshadowing everything before he went back to Mexico for three months to recharge. But I could tell he was a little 
little little more tired than normal, but he is definitely back and blasting with both barrels full power. He just gave me some very exciting news. I heard about this a few weeks ago, but was told not to talk about it uh, from some of the folks involved with the show. But Jesse can now tell you, because the emails, the Twitters coming in are asking me, is Jesse Ventura's top rated on True TV beat out all the news networks but Fox out of the gates? That's unheard of. Conspiracy theory. Jesse Ventura, uh, is your show coming back to television and when? Yes, it is. They've, uh, True TV with the grid. Let's give them credit because what they're doing shows a lot of courage. Uh, True TV is re-upped for at least eight and possibly ten more shows. We're, we're starting to put things together now. We will probably actually ramp up and begin, begin uh, shooting around June. Man, that is exciting, Governor. Well, yeah, I'm kind of excited over it. And my, my son Tyrell now will be a, a field producer. He's gotten a, a nice big uh, boost in position because they like his work. And so, uh, uh, you know, things are going full bore as soon as, we, as, soon as uh, June comes, probably. And a lot of people are emailing asking, will uh, Mr. Jones be involved? Well, you know, Alex, you're such a fountain of information. I don't think that there's any way on eight to ten conspiracies that you wouldn't have some great knowledge or know where to send us places to get knowledge. So I'm certain that I, that you'll have uh, a role in the in the in the second season. Man, you're a sweetheart, Governor Ventura. Uh, now. You were telling me off air, you guys have got it, what, pared down to about 20, but they're talking about 8, 10, 12 episodes. Well, they're uh, talking, they said 8 for sure and possibly 10. Possibly 10. Uh, any sneak peeks on some of the things that are in the hopper being looked at right now? No, Alex, I won't go that far because I'd hate to see. See, a battle will happen. It always does between what, what I want to do and what True TV wants to do. But contrary to the Democrats and Republicans, we will reach a compromise, and the show will go on the air. But we'll we'll have to fight those battles because uh, I'm cer certain there'll be some. And in light of that, I would I would not want to say anything that we'll do because then if it doesn't come true, it, it hurts my credibility. Absolutely, certainly don't tip your hand. Uh People asked me, they said, how can mainstream television put on a truly objective program? And I said, I know Governor Ventura well. He's a man of his word. He's going to produce this truthfully and follow the facts wherever they lead. And then it basically just won't air if it, if he has to compromise. And it came out and people were stunned. This is trailblazing. Nothing like this has ever been on national television. I mean, I want listeners to realize this was a true first. Governor Ventura, how were you able to get something done that no one before had ever done? Well, I guess you'd have to put that like this, Alex. How was I able to defeat the Democrats and Republicans and become the governor of Minnesota and only raise $300,000 to do it? Perseverance, smarts, will. Well, it, 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 you know, it's just ideas and, and passion and that. And uh, again, uh, I can't really fully answer it because, like I said, when we first thought we could do this show, I told my crew, I had a gentleman's bet with them, and I said, you know, we're going to do all these and we'll all get paid. But I said, I believe at the 11th hour they're going to pull the plug on this thing and it'll never see the light of day. Well, I'm happy to say I lost that bet because, as I said, True TV showed great courage and they aired them all and they didn't edit them and they did nothing because we uh, we did them all out in California and, uh, and uh, sent them all to them and we got them ready to go and they got on board and, and did it. And, I just spoke to Mark Juris, who's the head of True TV, and this guy's beside himself so excited to do another 8 to 10. Wow. Well, yeah. Their number one hit show, almost beating Fox. I mean, you talk about Royal Flush here. And, and I talked to Braverman when you were back in Mexico hyping one of the last shows on air. Uh, for those that don't know, one of the fellows involved, and he said, Alex, you wouldn't believe the big stars that are contacting us. And I went through some of the names because I know some of them, and he goes, wow, yeah, that's, that's some of them. But he said, he described it as Hollywood wants to keep it in the left-right paradigm. Jesse Ventura is shattering that left-right paradigm. The media calls questioning anything the government does a conspiracy theory that's outside that left-right orthodoxy. 
and that there's a war inside Hollywood and the media where most of the big names we know and see even in news, not just in entertainment, know about the New World Order, know about eugenics, know about population reduction, know about what's happening, and they don't want to be put in the left-right box. But Braverman said there is big Hollywood pressure from people uh, like Steven Spielberg to keep it left-right and... and because as Hollywood goes, so goes the rest of the world. And now they just can't put this label on people that are questioning the official story and who have government documents. I mean, every time you go on TV, they say, you're just a conspiracy theorist or, you know, you're making this up. And you point out, no, I'm not. I'm going off things like Operation Northwoods. I mean, here's Operation Northwoods. Uh, the actual document right here. I mean, we got ABC News, U.S. government plan to terrorize and stage fake terror attacks. What can you say about the huge paradigm shift that's happening and the type of feedback you're getting from Hollywood?